Did the mystery of iniquity do work already? Yeah. That one first? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> it says that evil be revealed the son of perdition. <laughs> I'm going to read you first, John 2 and 22, all right? It says, Who is a liar but he that denieth that Yahweh Shai the Hamashiach? He is an antichrist that denieth the Father and the Son. So you're saying if you go that, you're an antichrist. I mean, I'm sure one of them bitches over there is denying that uh, Hamashiach right now. It's safe to say, one out of ten at least of these devils is doing it. You know what I'm saying? So. Yes, we have. Yeah, we got uh, Second Thessalonians chapter two. I got Second John two and one and seven two. Verse three. For many deceivers are entered into the world, who confess not that Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, is come in the flesh. This is a deceiver and an antichrist. So if people are denying that the Hamashiach came in the flesh and that he was only a vision. You know that was just, you know that was just somebody trying to. Describe the vision that they saw that was really about the glory of the king like all this different rhetoric that we hear people that deny that he came in the flesh They're also antichrist uh, This is second Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 3 Let no man deceive you by any means For that day shall not come except there come a falling away first Meaning that many people will fall away from the doctrine during this time and that man of sin be revealed. The man of sin, the man of perdition, man. The son of perdition. Verse 4, who opposeth and exalted himself above all that is called God. And, and we got a whole nation of people that do that. We got a whole nation of people that do that. We got a nation that speaks great blasphemy. They speak boldly. They say uh, things against God. They say despicable things about his people. They try to replace us with the different religions and doctrines. Is that it on that? Yeah, that's me. Hold on, read that again? Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. Hold okay. on, okay. where's the stuff at? I'm going to read that, but we can keep going. Are supposed to read from two? That was cool when you started out. Go back up there, then. All right. This is 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 3. Let no man deceive you by any means. For that day shall come, except there come a falling away first. Right, we're not talking about falling away. It's saying that the day of the Lord is not going to come until the Israelites basically fall away first. Because we had to go into captivity. All that had to happen. So he's like, don't let somebody deceive you. All that has to happen before this great day comes, right? Well. And that man of sin be revealed. The man of sin be revealed. That's who they, they're saying, the Antichrist. But the man of sin is talking about our twin brother Esau. That's who the man of sin is. That's who the son of perdition is. That's who the Antichrist is, right? Yeah. Go ahead. The son of perdition. Son of perdition, right? Uh, isn't this one with the, 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 the mystery of iniquity work already? That's what I was trying to find. That's the one that... So the man of sin, right? So that's yeah. This is Malachi 1 and 4. Whereas Edom saith, We are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith Yahweh of hosts, They shall build, but I will throw down. But they shall call them the border of wickedness, meaning the epitome of wickedness. Right? So that's how we're able to identify them. As the wicked that Job was talking about, the earth is getting into the wicked. This time Esau is identified as the wicked. You know what I'm saying? As wicked as it gets. Exactly. 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 The wicked as it gets. Go from the top. This is 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come. Except they're coming falling away first. Right, we'd already fell away. All right, go ahead. And that man of sin be revealed. So this man of sin would have to be revealed before that day comes. And he's been revealed. It's Esau. The whole yeah. world can see that he's the wicked on the earth. He's the one that said that Jesus Christ is right. It wasn't the Arabs that did that. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't the Chinese that did that. It was the man of sin who did that. It, it all falls in line with pinpoint accuracy to Esau. And uh, we're just being fair. We, you know, like you said, process of elimination. We look at the earth. We see who's doing what in the earth. 
And after looking in there, we've come back with this conclusion. This guy has to be the man of sin. Right? Verse 4. Who opposes and exalted himself above all that is called God. Right, so we're talking about Esau, and we look at the earth. Who else in the earth manifests himself above God? This guy actually says that he is God, right? He said that his people, that, that, because this way he justifies white people saying that they're Jews. If Jesus is black and he looks like this, that means the rest of the Jews are going to look like that too. So when they do this right here, this is their way of lying and deceiving the whole world, right? Just like the Bible said that the devil would. What's up, Bob? What's up, brother? What's up, brother? What's up, brother? What's up, Look at my big old guy right there. You know I'm coming at you. You know I'm coming at you. That's that brother from San Diego right there, huh? That's San Diego brother right there. Yeah, I got Sam Fast. I got Sam Fast for you on that right. I'm going to show you on the right. I'm going to show you on the Young Prince, you already know, you already know. Hey, look. All praises, man. All praises. Hey, this is beautiful. This is a beautiful sight, man, because yeah. just think about Deuteronomy 28 and 15 and you read down that. A sign and a curse on us for a wonder throughout our generations would be that we're wandering in the noon day as if we're in the dark. You know, we're blind out here. Walking through these streets trying to feel our way around, trying to grab a hold of anything we can keep our balance on. Christianity, Islam, Santeria, Voodoo, you know what I'm saying? Catholicism, right? Just bumping into every goddamn thing. Don't nobody want to tell us who we are, where we come from, but still by the, by the blessing and mercies of God that we talked about in Romans 12, that we'll find ourselves here, putting our fringes back on, picking up our nationality again, taking our commandments back, and telling these devils to their face that they're going to captivity and that we're going to rule the world the way it's supposed to be ruled, and that they have no choice but to be righteous because we're going to show them how to be. That's right. it's, it's a miracle. Say louder for the people in the back. Huh. Hey, what's your nationality? On your father's side. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> You're going into captivity! Captivity! That's right. Form right. well, your ass goddamn brother. Yeah. <laughs> and and, and they, they, they don't know what's being said. They can feel the vibration of it, but we know what's going on. So it's going to make it an even sweeter miracle in that day, if, 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 you know, Lord's will, we can make it onto them chariots to see the surprise look on their face when this place gets destroyed. All hell rains down on them and we can put on them chariots. Oh, let, me, let, me get, let me get Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 2, somebody. Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 2, real quick. What, just a, yeah, just a little sidetrack. What a sergeant. What a sergeant is ready. You know, this is, this is what we labor for because the, the, the scriptures say that it, it will please God to recompense them that put us through the tribulation to give us our get back, right? It's something that's going to please God. You got that? I got you. The Apocrypha, the book of wisdom, and Solomon, chapter 5, verse 2. When they see it, they shall be troubled with tr terrible fear. They shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. So far beyond all that they look for. They're going to see us taking up our heritage again. They're going to see us keeping the commandments. They're going to see chariots. They're going to be like, what the fuck? These guys, for real? Like, you know what I'm saying? The things that they say about the Hispanics, the things they say about the so-called African Americans, the natives, all the disrespectful names they like to call us, it's, it's all going to dawn on them that, damn, we was fucking over the children of God all this time. They was out there on the corner telling us, and we... We laughed at them. We made fun of the way that they dressed. We made fun of them for saying that you got to keep your commandments. We, we made fun of them for saying that God didn't love everybody. We're going to get to glory in that world. Yeah. So, so yeah. Just, just look at this as a small sample of what we're looking at. What about what, 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 what are your thoughts on baptism? Baptism, uh, what are your thoughts on baptism? What's your career? I got, I got baptized as a child. Between uh, my parents' religion, but like, what do you guys think? Like, a person should be baptized.
the power. Let's get into it. So it's okay to undergo a ceremony, but baptism isn't complete unless you get to the root of it. The scriptures say the American and young man comes his way, right? Yeah, um, Psalms 119 and 9. Psalms 119 and 9. 119 and 9. Let me get it. <laughs> Bring that out. Sorry, I'm like Jess. Before I'm Yashi Kaur, man. Yeah. Before I'm Yashi Kaur. Look at this guy. Whoever got, whoever got their scripture first, put it up. The book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verse 26. That he might sanctify and cleanse them with the washing of the water by the word. So the water that you want to be cleansed by is the word, right? The word is the Torah. Torah means what? Yeah, there you go. So you so you know what what where the Torah is or how many books the Torah consists of. The word Torah means instructions. The root word of it is wara, and it means water. Right? So Torah is the water. You want to be cleansed by it. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 9. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed thereunto according to thy word. So you get cleansed by taking heed of the word. You get submerged in that water, you let it soak in, and you take heed, right? right. And then you walk in that way. So that's the baptism process, right? Walking in the 600 Exactly, because I'm, if I step out of the pool, hold on, baby. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Thank you. I got you. I got you. Let me get John 7 and 49, and then let me get Galatians 3 and 2. And then we're going to find out if water is going to exclude you from what's said in either of these scriptures. Meaning like a pool. Even if there's chlorine in that thing. <laughs> Actually, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Get, get that, get that as there. You got that, bring that out there. Whoever got what you got it, bring it out. The book of Galatians, chapter 3, verse 10. For as many as are the works of the law are under the curse, for it is written, Cursed is everyone that continueth not in all things which are written in the book of the law to do them. So, so, so if you continue not in the law, you're cursed, right? If you get dipped in some water or not, bring that out. This is St. John chapter 7, verse 49. But these people who knoweth not the law are cursed. So if you come out that water and you don't know the law, you're cursed. So where's the salvation in that? You know what I'm saying? And so what we got to understand is when we read Revelations, it says that here's the patience and faith of the saints. Here are they that keep the laws of the most high God. If you get Judges 5 and 11. I'm sorry. What was that last one? The book of Judges, chapter 5, verse 11. They that are delivered from the noise of archers. They that are delivered from destruction, go ahead. In the places of dry water. In the places of their captivity, go ahead. There shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. There they shall get a bath. The righteous acts of the Lord. They shall, they shall rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. So you got to learn them in order to do them, right? And that's where we get into what uh, James was talking about when he said faith without works is dead. So we got to learn those works. we got to have faith in the Hamasiach that he gave us a chance to repent to those and, and, and do them. Right? There shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord, even the righteous acts toward the inhabitants of his villages in Israel, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
and show love to our neighbor, right? The love of God is, is uh, keeping the commandments. Then shall, then shall the people of the Lord go down to the gates. And that's what's going to allow the elect through, uh, through the mercy of God to walk down to the, to the gates of the kingdom. So that's the answer on that. What else you got? Shoot. Shoot! <laughs> What you got though? I don't know. I don't have any questions. Just thinking. It's good to die to ask about questions. Yeah. Hopefully they just come out. The more questions you got, the more answers you gain. You know so that's where it starts. This right here for each of the 12 tribes Wave them side to side with your fist held high The pale guys, they want us in hell fried But we got next screaming Israel ride Jamming to my verb, standing on the curb